Now that you know about moving around in the spreadsheet, let's look at entering and editing things in the cells. If you just click in any cell and just start typing, then hit enter, you will have entered new things into that cell. But you don't need to click into a cell. Any cell you're in, so I'm just going to go to a cell using the arrow keys, and if I just start typing, then hit enter again, then what I've just typed will be put in the cell. Also try putting in some numbers, and also note that if you don't hit enter, you can also just use arrow keys. So if I enter a number, or text, and just hit the down arrow, and another number, and now I'm going to hit the right arrow, and another number, and I'm going to hit the up arrow, right? Now, students sometimes get themselves into a bit of a bind, I find, when they first start out, especially if they think they need to click into the input line up here. So in general, you don't need to. So if I start typing, and let's say I make a mistake and want to fix it, I can, of course, just backspace, okay? But the other way, is if I click into the input line, then I get a cursor up there and I can edit it. But what then I find happens with students is they will click into a cell, think they need to click into the input line, right? And so I'm just going to type something. And then if I hit the down key, Nothing happens. Right key, nothing happens. Left, up, nothing happens. And it's because I've clicked into the input line and that has changed the behavior of the arrow keys. You see the cursor moving back and forth as I hit right and left because now the arrow keys are moving around, moving my cursor around inside the input line. And so I'm stuck here until I hit enter. So generally, just don't click into the input line. The only time you need to click into the input line is if you're going to edit something that's already in the cell. If you have selected a cell and you just start typing, you will overwrite what is in the cell. On the other hand, if you're in a cell, no matter how you get there, whether you click to it or get there with arrow keys or whatever, and then you click in the entry area, now you're adding to whatever it was. And similarly, you can click, highlight things, and overwrite them. One other nice thing to know is that if you've selected a group of cells, and hopefully you know several ways to do that, if you now click on that group of cells and drag, you will move it. One of the things you're going to find that you do the most when working in a spreadsheet is copying and pasting. And copying and pasting in a spreadsheet works in just the same way as a lot of other applications that you've probably used. So I'm going to leave it to you to find several different ways to copy and paste things.